welcome to Rod and Pollux. We're what? back on the beach. We're here. It's a Monday. It is a Monday. Mike was wrong. Mike has got family commitments tomorrow, so we've had to come out a day early in gale force winds. Hold on, should we make some time travel happen? Happy birthday for tomorrow, Amanda, yesterday. Hello, people, it's Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> We're on Lainmouth Beach. We've got a massive westerly wind. So we we'll had to try and pick somewhere that was a bit sheltered, and I'll show you behind me. We have a big clay cliff face. Of poo. It's clay. <laughs> it's, it's made of poo. It's horrible. But we've got a nice bit of shelter, and there's been winds out at sea, so we've still got a bit of swell. You can't really see it because it all dips down. So it's quite weird how the wind's blowing towards the sea, so the, the wind's blowing offshore, but there's still breakers coming in. It's strange. So. The water's got quite a bit of colour in, which is quite good. We're fishing into darkness, so we could see some coddling. We're going for the piggies. I'm getting a piggy the night, folks. Mike, Michael hasn't had a coddling in 2020, so I'm going to try and get him one. Michael barely had a coddling in 2019. <laughs> I think I caught them all. You did? I did so, that. In this episode, Tom's going to catch all of the cod, and I'm probably going to blank. Michael's going to nest, crack off, go in a huff, and then not catch anything. Big wave. Sorry, I got distracted by a big wave. Could be bass. That could be bass. Which means Michael's not going to catch a bass, neither. <laughs> Ever. So, right. yeah. Stay tuned. Ooh, big thank you to John at Sport and Leisure for four bait the day. Oh, yes. Cheers, John. Absolutely amazing. Um, we might give the gravity a review. It's nice, review done. It's nice, review done. Yep. Rodden Pollux endorses this product. Uh, we are going to be testing uh, Solid Seagull Glow in Darkness. I've got a liner. Bye. Glow. Tom's got to go and catch a fish now. But yeah, catch up with you in a bit. Not sure how much listeners are going to hear, folks. This is literally two seconds after the intro. Tom ran away to check his rod. Thinks he might be on. As you can see, we've got a lovely bit of sea running. Um, dropped off. Oh, that's a shame. I'm going to keep the update on, though. I'm heavy all the way in, and it's going to a wave. We'll keep filming you, though. I'm not there. Damn. It's an effort. It's sweet effort. But anyway, whilst we're here, here it is, folks. The gravity. Sonic Gravity X5, absolutely wonderful piece of kit. So, Tom didn't catch a fish, and to get the camera put back, we'll catch up with you again in a second. Whatever it was, hit the lug whim. I've got two rods out the day, I'm doing a bit of a trial. I've got a normal pulley pendle on one rod, and I've got a pulley pendle dropper on the other. That's the rig I used over in Balgary, Scotland, to get all the rays on. And that sort of hook, but it's meant to hook the bait as tight at the bottom as it can. I would like to say that it's a successful test, but so far I've caught no fish. We are fishing in the darkness, so there is the chance of cod coming in then. But it's not looking good. <laughs> I'll keep you updated. Well, so far it's windy. And poo poo. I've had a couple of good knocks, but I haven't connected. One of them was a really good bite. When I pulled into it, I was snagged. By the time I got the snag clear, the fish was gone. So. I made a really nice bait and snapped off mid-cast. <laughs> I might have cracked off mid-cast and lost the lot. So, I've had to do an emergency doctor of line on mine. It's extremely windy. <laughs> and every now and then we'll get some gnarly waves, dude. Oh, my. What? No. I so wanted to sound like a surfer. No. Don't you not think I sound good like a surfer? Say later. Nah. We're back. Right, so we've moved about 10, 15 metres down the beach. Tom found the only snag on this beach with every cast. So he's now where I was. I've moved down. So if he catches the fish where I was now, this is going to be one very unhappy fat man. But still, nothing happened. It's still daylight though. This is a nighttime mark. Which means I have to try and work out how to film in the dark today. But we'll see how we get on. We'll keep you posted. It's his first cod of 2020. Yes. It's massive. Huge. Hold on. Hold fish here. That's Make fish look big. It's huge, Michael. It's huge. It's got to be a good 15 pounder. You've got really big hands, haven't you? Yeah, massive. First one, though. I think that actually is my first cod. That's, that's your first cod of this year. Ah. Get in. Get a pump back. It's not a blind! <laughs> <laughs> I got the first cod, Lynn. But that's a really good sign for tonight. If that's even though it's just a tiny little one, it's 
in till broad daylight, going into the dark, hopefully some of its big brothers and sisters are around. And I might actually get a decent fish tonight. I probably will. That'll be my only fish for the day. But I got a fish and I got one before Tom, which always happens, and then he like annihilates it. But yeah, got that first one. Wait for it to get in the darkness. I'll be sticking the moon glow on. Uh, we've got some like glow sea goo. At the moment, we're using uh, X, sea goo X. We've got our bait soaking in that. Uh, so I will uh, we'll keep you posted on how they all work out. Right, ladies and gentle fish. So the rig I'm using tonight, it's pulley panel, usual sinker, onto a swivel, clip down. But on my hooks, if you can see, I've got Foro Sakuma Manta, circle hook, and then I've got a Moonglow tractor above that, which I'll be lighting up. Uh, so this will be able to fish big baits with a Moonglow. So you can't really see my face there. Uh, fish be able to fish big baits with a moon glow above. When you're putting a moon glow on a panel, I find it easier to you thread it over the hook and around over the top of that shank and take your panel hook and turn it back over itself like that. Then push it over there and around the hook, and that's how you get the moon glow above it. Trust us, it took me a long time to figure that one out. You know I'm not the world's most intelligent. But yeah, that's what I'm using the night when it gets dark. This is what's going to get me the big pig and let us in. It's still 1-0 to me at the moment. I've still beaten them. Could this be the night that I eventually do it, eh? Well, hurricane force right now, so you might not hear us. But not really, it's just a light breeze. But it'll sound like a hurricane on this camera. Um, currently, I'm still beating them with that one fish. Uh, not for long, Michael! He thinks it's not going to be for long. It's gagging. Come on, at least just once have a blank for me. Oh, oh, oh. How are you? Have a blank for his area. I said blank, man. <laughs> you absolute pervert. Said blank. Yeah, whatever. We know what you meant. Uh, so, yeah, at the moment it's still on me. Yeah, I've just chucked out some salted ragworm, covered it in the ragworm glow sea goo, which I completely and utterly forgot to light up or put on film. So. Let's see how that goes. We're still absolutely caning through the bait soaked in X, and so far that's had the only fish. Tom has found every snag humanly possible. He's reeling clean, clean ground and then into a snag every time. Are you in the snag yet, mate? How about now? How about now? It looks like he's getting away with this one. But yeah, um, what fish activity meter that we normally check? Predict that we should be getting into some reasonable fish activity about now as the tide's lifting. We'll see what happens at the moment. That's going to blow the camera over. So I'll leave you an update as that and uh, I'll get back to these in a bit. Ew. Right, I'm going to show you how to use the bait mate tool. Tip your hook and just nip it through the main piece of bait that you're using. There's then a divot in the end of the tool. Hook point in there. If I can get my cold fingers to work. Right. And then the main line goes up the tool and back behind it. Hold that with your other fingers. Keep it tight. Start with your elastic. Don't be shy with it. Put plenty on. And then start layering up whatever you're putting in your cocktail. What you got in yours here, Michael? Uh, ma mackerel, razor fish, razor fish and, squid. and squid. Lay them on the back. Carry on whipping. Use plenty of elastic. Don't be shy with it, like I say. And then tie it off. You don't have to do this, you can just pull it. But I'm a puller, not a tie. I like. I like to tie mine. Slide it off. Pendle hook in. Some people like to put the pendle hook in when they're wrapping. I find it's easier to put it in afterwards. Then you're done. And the hook points are always clear. Perfect presentation every time. And slide the moon glow down. And all's good. Bosh. Thank you for baiting up for me, Tom. That's the one that's going to catch the fish. There you go. We're doing it. Well, this is terrible. It's horrendous. The sea's completely flattened off. The wind is still there. Michael's had one tiny cuddle and I've blanked so far. Nope. Sorry. 
Sorry. That's not very nice, is it, mate? Gotta look smug there. Do I rub it in my new blank? Yes. That's fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's dire. We've even resorted to using crab. We hardly ever use crab, but we've got some today. So we're trying crab? Also not working. No. We've got crab, we've got razor clam, bluey, mackerel, um, lug, rag, and every single goo imaginable. And it's cack. It's just dire. We've had, I've had a few crabs drop off on the retrieve. All our baits are coming back. Oh, I tell you, I, I, I caught a crab. Doesn't count. I'm counting it. Doesn't count. It, weighed, it probably weighed more than your no. cod. Probably weighed more I'm winning. No, no, you're not. Yes, I am. No, because you would are. never. If yes, I, I was blanking and I caught a crab, you would never count it. So, no, you're still blanking. I'm winning. He's blanking. He's a blanker. Michael's a blanker. King Blanker. Who's your favourite Mortal Kombat character? Uh, who's your favourite Street Fighter character? Blanker. <laughs> Maybe his reference. So, yeah. We're going to give it a few more chucks and uh, if it continues to be this horrendous, we're going to go home and get cry. a McDonald's. I'm not getting a McDonald's. I feel like one. My body is a temple. No, it's not. Just one of them ones where monkey shit in. <laughs> <laughs> so, all that banter about him being a blanker. Yes! And now I've got the biggest one, mate. It's only little, but I haven't blanked. That deserves a kiss off you. Yes! Get a put back, eh? I've got a big rod out, I see a big rod, I've got a, a pulley on one of my rods with a big bait on for the cod and I've got this Widowmaker, two hook pattern are out there with tiny little, tiny little bits of bluey on and that's what he came in on. Well done. I'm going to get him put back. We're not going anywhere now. Right, well other than Tom getting that other fish to now make him not the blanker which is really, really annoyed me to tell you the truth. Uh, we're now on to our last lucky cast. Now, most viewers of this show know that when it comes to last cast, I normally make Mega Worm. But this time I've went a little bit different. Come on, let's go for a little walk eh, with me head torch on me camera so I can't even see me stand. I have made what could only be described as a fish sex aid. That is one of everything we have bait wise. It's about eight inches long. Wall ass would love it. I'm coming the mega super ultra uber bait. And hopefully, wait, well, let's face it, something that size has to be double figure to take it. Um, I know everybody's gonna say, oh, that's a total waste of bait, but let's see what happens there. Well, windy, very windy. Not, or, not a blank though. No, not a blank at all. You did well. Uh, we got, uh, got one little cod in each, so it's not a blank, but it's not great. Couple of crabs each. <laughs> Aye, couple of crabs. The, the fish sex aid didn't work. Um, this week we're not putting any sponsor links under this video because we've got a cause that we would like to bring to your attention. Scott Dunn, one of our subscribers, is quite close to a family who just lost their one year old daughter, Grace Rose. Um, and that was very recently. Scott owns a company called Your Prince Boutique and he's going to do a raffle. Um, numbers 1 to 100 for a custom canvas. £2 a number. All proceeds go to the family. There's also a Just Given page to try and help alleviate some of the stress and cover costs and things like that. Links to both things will be on our page and Scott's Your Prince Boutique page. I will link them in the comments as well. It'll be below this video if you want to have a click. So we're not going to put the links to the sponsors in this week. We're just going to link this it's a cause i mean it's heartbreaking really it isn't is, it it's, it's so, horrible so every little helps even if you can just drop a pound in that'd be great yeah just help the family out a little bit Aye. so but on that i think we're just gonna call it there Aye, we'll, we'll call that quits not the best session but not a blank at least we got out on the beach that's the main thing uh thanks for watching tight lines folks may the fish be with you our brilliant sponsors, Soul and Seagoo and Baitmate Fishing Solutions, have decided to send with quite a bit of gear to try and like raffle off and auction off to make as much money as possible to then donate to Grace Rose's Just Giving page. Baby shark. Baby shark, yeah, I'll put it on in a minute. Go on. Um, so that should be arriving any day. We will be meeting up with Scott Dunn and Karina to try and organise the best way to do it. But it'll probably be posts on the Facebook pages and you can bid on that or we'll be doing raffles like a certain price per number maybe it's one to 40 
uh, and we'll work it out from there. But details will be posted and what's going to happen will be finalised on Facebook soon. Thank you.